We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. First down grab. Tackle at the 43 yard line. You don't expect tight ends to run away from many defenders, but he looked pretty nimble getting downfield there. From their own 43 yard line. First down. He might have a chance. And they make the stop right around the 44-yard line. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. And he is drilled at the 48-yard line. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Four down, four down. Choose the mic. Ready. Motion, Wide motion. 80. Wide motion, 80. Motion. He's scrambling, and they got it. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Throws it deep. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Boy, this is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play. But he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy, but you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. Louisville staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. From their own 12-yard line. Second down. Quickly to the tight end. He's taken down at the 31. First down. From their own 29 yard line. Second down. Now 
he tries to buy some time. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. And that'll get him fired up. These hits take a toll on a quarterback, physically and psychologically. The blockers have got to do a better job of taking care of him. pass brought down around the 49 yard line good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz that, makes that gave the quarterback ten. enough time to find his man for a nice game from the 49 yard line first down and he makes it out to about the 47 yard line so the quarterback keeps it for two yards yeah there's not much room there for the ball carrier the safety did a nice job of stepping up from the secondary and made a good stop before he could get many yards a great tackle at the 49. And this play is number eight on the drive. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. Offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards Still to pick up down. for the first down. So now it's an even tougher situation after the penalty. Third and 15. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Fires it quickly. And he can't hang on to it. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. And he's sacked. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Here we go! There's a strike complete. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line. It's third down. Got it complete. He's out of bounds. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line. But you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. From their own 37-yard line. It's second down. Get to that quickly. And he's tackled right away. That'll be a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Tackle made at about the 35. 
We've played one quarter. Now this one's scoreless. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Oh, excellent punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 25. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 40. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled at the 50-yard line. Number 52 makes the tackle at the 50-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Green eight. Motion, motion, motion. Motion, motion. Bump, 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 bump. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll bring up second down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gets to about the 41 yard line. And he's taken down at the 22. First and 10. Ball on the 22. Let's go, T. It's going to be a long day, offense. It's going to be a long day. There's a strike complete. He's down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Four down, four down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Tackled after a decent pickup. Gain of six yards. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike. The running back gets two on the carry. That's a good one. Two yards. Brings him second and goal. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Watch number five, watch number five. Check the Flags yards. are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start, start offense. offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch down. is going to be enough to draw the flag. Right. It's second and goal. Ball on the 12. Four down, four down. Check They'll bring him down at the four. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. This is the 11th play of this drive. Four down, four down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. 
Knocked out of bounds at the two-yard line. They pick up two on the pass play. You know, this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop. So that's a good job here by the defense to slow him down. Louisville could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackle around the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. Scrambling around. And they make the stop at about the 49. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. From the 33-yard line, first down. Find his man, and they take him down immediately. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. running back has great speed and he can run the football very effectively but the coaches have told us the one area that they really worked with him is his hands being able to catch the ball out of the backfield here he gets hit but he's got to be able to hold on to the ball quick throw out to the receiver incomplete that pass led him just a little bit too far but still great effort it looks like they're going to try for the long field goal Miami is down three and looking to tie it up. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Louisville is going to use their first time out of the half here. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. And he hits him hard at the 40. Louisville will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. I got you, punk. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. He's going to try and scramble. No one opens, so he's going to run. He's taken down at the 18. Check three. Check three. They'll make the sack. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. It's interesting to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. And he's going to be sacked. And he just gets rid of it. They came up short here trying to pick up the first down, but they still are in field goal range, and they're going to try to come up with three points. So it's fourth down. 
They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Louisville is looking to go up by three. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he just drilled it from long range. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's no surprise seeing this guy having another nice game. I think all great defenses have a player on their side of the football that kind of inspires them. And I think it's very clear that this young man has provided that for this defense. I'm going to slide my offensive line and my protection towards him to be able to try to take him away and do anything to try to mix up my looks for him. The defense doesn't want to let the crowd back in it here. They'll look for a quick stop. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Gets to about the 27-yard line. So we've played two quarters. Louisville leads it 6-3. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But, David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. No. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get in. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect, and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offense coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taking off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Makes it to the 44. That's a D-19. First down. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. Louisville holds a field goal lead. Just throws this one away. He's scrambling. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. That's going to bring up fourth down. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. He 
he gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They give to the tailback. Nice run there as they work the outside. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Nice run to the outside. the 36 yard line. Call it again in three yards. Let's go. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 36 yard line. Here we go. Green 95. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Third down. He scrambled, and he's going to come up with a sack. That'll make it fourth and six. He really got a hold of that one. Not a great return there. Boy, he got a hold of that ball. This punter has a big-time leg, and you can see that when he gets a hold of a ball like that. Really goes. We're about set to start things up again. Louisville is up a field goal. Quick throw. He's tackled at the 25. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. And he's tackled right away. Good for a game of six yards. First down. Four down, four down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Tackle made at the 46. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 46. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Light 87. Nice run there. So the old draw play gets him a good seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Yellow 90. Run, run, run. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. That's a deal. From the 36-yard line, first down. And he's sacked. They've really thrown the quarterback's rhythm off and rattled his confidence with such a relentless pass rush. He's not himself out there at all today. Louisville has a three-point lead. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do 
is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. He gets it up, and it's long enough. No good. He missed it to the left. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Here's the give. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They're about four yards away here on second down. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. game on our hands. 6-3 Cardinals. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Mike two. Watch two. Watch two. Give to the running back and he's going to lose yardage. Second and, ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 42 yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at the 40 yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it 39. Four down, four down. 46 is right there. Check him, check him. Choose the mic. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he is drilled at the 28-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 28. This is the eighth play of this drive. The same play again. Well, yeah, fooled no one there, Brad. It's up, and he got it. Big, big kick. It's up to the defense now to make some plays and hold on to this lead. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. Yeah, the defensive coordinator made it a priority to put some pressure on this quarterback. Good pass rush by these guys today. This is the time in the game when each and every play has meaning. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. They'll bring him down to the 33-yard line. 
It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. He steps out at the 34-yard line. Right, he's sitting back at that studio loving this. Two defenses that are really imposing their will on these two offenses. Maybe they could even score to help out one of these offenses win the game. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Just under three to go in regulation. He rifles it to the left. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. Man left, man left. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 28. Here we go! Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Number two brings him down with the 33 yard line. That'll make it 35. Four down, four down. Hey, I got number 80. I got number 80. Here's the throw to the fullback. And they make the stop at about the 41. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 41. Swims it left. He's got his fullback. He's knocked out of bounds around the 43-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 43 yard line. He's wrapped up for the sack. That's a loss of nine on the play. Second and long. Check, check, check three. Hammerhead. Check Hammerhead. Check Set. Green and black. Going deep. Lays it out there. Nice catch on that one. And touchdown, Miami. Big time pass play for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. So a six play, 71 yard drive and a touchdown as a result. Yeah, well, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Louisville's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. Throws it in a hurry. That's a great tackle at the 33. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Just under two minutes in the game. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line. Number 37 on the tackle at the 45-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Tackle around the 42-yard line. Gaining 13 on the play. First down. Right, 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 right. Four down, four down. Check 59. Mike. 
Mike, Mike is 59. Mike's at 59. Sit up. 187. Motion, motion, motion. 187. Oh, they really needed that one, and he dropped it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 42. Scrambling around. He's taken down to the 37-yard line. Louisville just took their first time out. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Now you can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that will lead to the victory. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Louisville's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. Miami is up seven. And they get nice yardage on that run. Louisville will use their final timeout. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Scoring points was a special occasion on this day. It's final, 13-6, Miami. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.